Hi, my name is Ella. I'm from Westside Middle School. Nothing beats Bob Soda! <laughs> and this is my poem, Two More Pounds. Just two more pounds, I kept telling myself. Just lose two more pounds and you'll be happier, more focused, maybe even worth something. Don't exceed 600 calories a day or you're never going to be beautiful. No carbs, no sugar, no fat, no fluids. I had myself convinced that empty was strong. I was brainwashed to think that not eating was one step closer to being as pretty as everyone else. But not eating was just one step closer to dying. I was committing a slow suicide, shedding my dignity with every inch of my body, literally starving for a sense of control. Each day, stepping on the scale, being flooded with insecurity and guilt as the numbers taunted me. My hair turned to nothing but a few thin strands of dark brown twine, Tears drenched my colorless, sunken-in face as I grabbed each roll of fat that seemed to be plastered onto me. I was winded going up the stairs, for all I was surviving on was sugar-free gum and ice cubes. My hip bones grew sharp like the blades I dug into my wrist, wrists so tiny I could curl my hand fully around them, standing in the kitchen one night, hearing my brother tell me, that shirt makes you look anorexic, and feeling proud. Proud to be shivering in a warm room. Proud to shove snacks into drawers. Proud of the monster who crawled out from under my bed and invaded my mind. I wanted to show off my illness like a gold medal because for once in my life, I was finally the thin one. Somehow, shrinking to skin and bones was interesting. Disappearing to dust was pure bliss. Sure, I was days away from death, but I could comfortably change in the locker rooms. I could finally swim in a two-piece, not a t-shirt. I would spend countless hours analyzing each valley in between my ribs, never deep enough. Fragments of my personality slipped away each time I found myself quivering on the bathroom floor, crouched over plastic bags, bringing up every last calorie I had consumed. My jawline cut so precise it was dangerous. I could sense a half-hour workout within the grease of a bratwurst. The chorus of voices ate at me until I couldn't eat. They wrung out drops from my identity as I soaked in their lies. I became nothing but the aftermath of a mental illness. Yet I loved it. Sorry. Anorexia became my drug. I was addicted to the roar of my hollow stomach and the tingle within each growl. But apparently, I overdosed far too often. Side effects may include dizziness, sudden weight loss, irritability, disinterest in activities, or suicidal thoughts or actions. Yet I loved it. I mean, how could I not when my disease was the only thing that felt right in my life? It deemed me extraordinary, attractive, perfect. On my first day in the recovery program, I stopped my mom at the 200-pound doors and told her, don't take this away from me. This is the one thing I have control over.